it's unnecessary. It's like an unnecessary death. You should not be dying of cervical cancer. Dr. Cynthia Terry is the Clinical Services Director at the Belize Family Life Association. Her concern is one echoed across the medical community in Belize, that far too many women are dying from what is a preventable and treatable form of cancer. Yet, cervical cancer remains one of the leading cancers affecting women in Belize and one of the top causes for cancer-related deaths. Global Can, which reports um, cervical cancer incidences and mortality globally, um, has reported a decrease in mortality and um, incidents related to cervical cancer in their last report for 2018. So even though that looks good, um, we are still with uh, incidence and mortality that, that is double than what is absor observed in the, um, the Latin American Caribbean region. The ministry released a report that said that the average age of diagnosis is 45 for a woman and the average age of death is 47. So you're talking about a woman who is still in a very productive phase of her life. Australia set a target of eliminating cervical cancer by 2028. If met, they'll be the first country to successfully do so. Some of the methodologies the Australians are employing are now being replicated in Belize, like the rollout of the HPV vaccine as a prevention tool. In 2014 in Belize, the BFLA introduced a new form of screen and treat method to reduce the number of women losing their lives to cervical cancer. There was a need to introduce a different strategy and in this case we introduced the screen and treat strategy which was um, visual inspection with acetic acid called a VIA and then linking that to treatment with cryotherapy. The, what the screen and uh, treat strategy does is that um, the woman is screened the mm -hmm. same day so we apply, uh, in this case, um, we apply just the acetic acid which is just your table vinegar mm -hmm. and it's done with a little wash on the cervix, and if they're abnormal cells, it's no magic, if they're abnormal cells, abnormal cells tend to produce more protein, mm -hmm. and the acetic acid causes these protein to coagulate, right? Mm -hmm. So you have a white precipitate forming, and so when you flash a, a white light, you'll actually, actually see an acetal-white lesion, what we call a positive VIE result. After being treated, the woman returns one year later for a follow-up visit. In this one-year visit, we rescreen again using a VIA, and it's more to determine a cure rate. Mm -hmm. Cure rate meaning that um, there are no lesions present after a year. Mm -hmm. All right. And in our program, we've seen about more than 95% cure rates in women that have come back for the one-year follow-up. So it's been very successful. Since the introduction of VIA at one BFLA clinic, the NGO has partnered with the Ministry of Health to train more medical professionals in VIA testing, and it is now available in about 12 other clinics across the country. Now the NGO is focusing on identifying the root of the problem, the HPV virus. Cervical cancer is caused 99.9% .9 by the human papilloma virus, mm -hmm. right, known as HPV. More than 80% of sexually active individuals will get exposed to HPV virus at some point in their life. Um, some of our immune systems might fight it, but it depends on the HPV virus that we get exposed to. We know there are many different subtypes, but we know 16 and 18 are the ones that are most oncogenic, we mm -hmm. say, or most related to cancer. HPV is the culprit of cervical cancer, right? Mm -hmm. So now we're actually, we actually acquired the machine at BFLA, and so we're going to be introducing um, Cure HPV testing. Mm -hmm. um, HPV testing is already being done in Belize, but not in country per se, but it's done through private facilities and then sent abroad. But now we'll actually be doing local testing, so it should be much more affordable. Mm -hmm. And the machine actually screens for 14 high-risk um, subtypes of HPV. It can take 5 to 10 years between the initial exposure to HPV to developing cervical cancer. With the now available VI test and the new HPV test about to come on stream in the next few months, the hope is one day to set our own target for the elimination of this preventable cancer. The VIA screen and treat method costs $45 and takes less than half an hour of your time. So a woman can come during her lunchtime, get it done and then go back to work. So it's not like you're going back to work walking like if something really bad happened to you.